So, pleasure to meet you, David. Nice this to is meet you. like an honor uh, for us, uh, the Game <laughs> to Love podcast. Uh, this event, obviously, it's an amazing event. Uh, how is it for you playing at the Royal Albert Hall, uh, for starters? Uh, it's very nice, you know. Uh, this is the best place that you can play on senior tour. It's the best event. So for, for us, I think, so for all the players, it's a, it's a great to be here and, and play with, you know, a, a great partners and, and the chance to, to see them again. Yeah, definitely. With something a bit different, I don't know if you've ever heard of our podcast before. Mm. I'm <laughs> sorry, not. I'm from Spain. <laughs> and, uh, it's fine, it's fine. But we try to bring something a little bit more fun and fresh to like the tennis world. We represent the future of tennis. So uh -huh. we're always looking to the Challenger Tour yeah. and things like this. So we've been following someone like Carlos Alcaraz for quite some yeah. time. And yeah. obviously being a fellow Spaniard, uh, what do you think of Carlos Alcaraz and mm. his his rise to fame and how far do you think he can go in the game? Well, uh, now he's uh, he did it. He, he finished the the, the year at, uh, on, on over top thirty, so he's, um, he's uh, he has an uh, amazing future in in his career. The the important thing that he's humble. He's humble. He li he likes listen because well I know because Juan Carlos is a good friend of me, yeah. and I know Carlos and I'm really happy for. For them, I think that after Rafa, he's going to be the future. I don't want to compare uh, Alcaraz uh, with Rafa because that, because that it's impossible. Rafa is a special one, like yeah. Roger or Novak. <laughs> but uh, it's good for the tennis. Uh, we'll see new faces. And, you know, for uh, Spanish people, it's great to have Carlos Alcaraz. I couldn't agree more. Like we, we've been watching him over the past two, three years, just growing and growing, yeah, and growing. now he's becoming a, a Gro massive, growing faster, <laughs> very fast. And now, obviously, he's obviously reached a Grand Slam quarter final already. Yeah, everybody's just waiting for the time when he eventually wins that Grand Slam. And uh, will it be on hard court, maybe instead yeah. of clay? Uh, he can play in all surfaces. I think so. Uh, the good thing that is Carlos. He has amazing power with the shots, and yeah. and he he dominate always the point. Uh, I saw the match, uh, I watched the match against uh, Chisipas, and Chisipas number three of the world, uh, and he dominate uh, a lot of time, uh, part of the of the match. Uh, you know, he, and he's uh, 18, only 18 years old, so that's that's impressive. Definitely. No, I, I totally agree. I think he's got something that we always say on our podcast. When you see him on court, there's like a wow factor. I don't know what it is. You can't really explain it, but it's, it's similar to when the big three sort of came on tour, but it's not exactly the same because I don't think you can ever emulate those players. No. But there's something special. Yes, something look that uh, looks similar, no? Yeah, definitely. But, definitely. but, but at the end, uh, every player has... Uh, their style, different yeah. style, but at the end, the top players, you know, the, the special players, uh, they have something similar. Is the the attitude on the court? That's at the it. end, the difference, yeah. of course, the talent because without talent, it's impossible to be there. But the attitude change uh, the small things uh, on the court. Yeah. yeah, one thing, sort of sticking to Spanish tennis, of course, moving over to the women's, Paula Badoza, another one yeah. who's had an outstanding season. Paula um, Badoza. You have the privilege of meeting her. How far do you think she's going to go and what a career she's going to have? I know her because, uh, well, uh, he practiced in, in Valencia and he's a junior. She's, uh, she was a junior when I, I, I played pro, but I, I know her and, and she has a, a amazing talent. And, and now he madurate uh, he, her own tennis and that's important now I think that uh, Paula uh, uh, she, she's a winner you know you yeah. see she, she, she thinks that she's good and that's important uh, and, and this year he makes the difference with that and uh, well, well enjoying a lot with the uh, woman Spanish tennis players because we had uh, Garbiña Muguruza. Oh, Garbiña yeah. Muguruza is consolidate. She's yep. consolidate. Yeah. But now with Paula Badosa, two top tens. You know, before Arancha, Sanchez, or Conchita yeah. Martínez, we didn't have uh, two top tens. So it's great that we got to see them play so recently as well. Obviously, in the WTA finals in Mexico, they yeah. played each other. Yeah, they uh, did Muguruza, semi final. Yeah, yeah Muguruza beat her on that occasion, and then she uh, went all the way. But it was close. Yeah, so. it's normal because at the end, the Muguruza 
I got uh, more experience than than than, than Paula Badosa, and for at the moment, you know, Bugurosa, you know, it's uh, more top than, than Paula. But I'm sure that Paula is going to be a lot of years uh, on the top ten. Yeah. And more about you, of course, this is such an honour to have you here. Like, you're, you're an absolute legend for oh, tennis. Yeah. It was just a pleasure to me speak about tennis. Yeah. It's one thing that I, I, I like. Uh, I love this game. I am not travelling uh, as a coach like before, but I, I, it was I'm, I'm following the, the, the tennis, the truth. Yeah. Uh, to speak about uh, the coaching, uh, is there any anything on the horizon in 2022? Will you be coaching? No, I had opportunities, but no, I am working as a tournament director in Barcelona Open. Yeah. And, and no, because I am in in other stages of my life. You know, I I I, uh, I am still vinculated with tennis. I'm going to commentate or, uh, some tournaments. Uh, Davis Cup. I'm going to okay. to do. But not because if as a coach I, I had to travel a lot and and I, I will do I'm sure yeah. but not next year maybe uh, 2023. I can imagine you spend all these years traveling and traveling yeah. and, and then now I want to spend energy <laughs> with other things. Yeah, yeah you get finally yeah. get to sit down and yeah, enjoy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you've you've earned it, haven't you? You've spent yeah. all these years traveling. And now you can actually yeah, just enjoy. Uh, you've got so much prize money. This you <laughs> don't ever get time to uh, sit down and actually yeah. spend it. So yeah, now to, you can to watch on TV and to watch around. It's easier to take a, a decision after. Yeah. yeah. So this year, 2021, we've seen some very special stories. We've got Radu Kanu here tomorrow yeah. as well, which is amazing for like British yeah. tennis. Um, there's obviously some crazy things that happened at the start of the year in Australia with Aslan Karatsev. Mm-hmm. He's someone we had on the podcast just before he went and did what he did in Australia. Yeah. I, know, I don't want to put you on the spot too much, but if you had to pick out a player for next year to have sort of a breakout year, is there anyone sort of who you have an inclination, who you think nah, could do something special? I don't want to say, say my name, you know, had <laughs> opportunities. Uh, nah, at the end, it depends on motivation. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you want to speak about Raul Cano. She's an amazing player. I, I, wa- I saw her in US Open against Sara Sorribes. Yes. Yes. It was really impressive, you know, and after the World quick Tournament. One, that one, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, she's, uh, <laughs> she, she had amazing shots so. so Depends on his or her mind how handle the, the pressure is important. We'll see this year. Yeah, yeah with yeah with pressure. Uh, obviously, we've seen someone you're very close to, uh, Sasha Zverev. Yeah, uh, he's done amazingly yeah. uh, in this year. The only thing missing, obviously, just the Grand Slam. Do you think next year will yeah, be the year? Yeah, for sure. I, I don't know if he's gonna win, but he has the chance for sure because oh. uh, with his serve, he's a hard worker. Uh, yeah. Sasha. Uh, when I uh, work with him, him uh, impressive to me because he loves tennis a lot. He likes to be on the court, and I really enjoy working with him on the court. Fantastic. Well, we should probably uh, wrap this one up, I would have thought. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to speak to you. Thank Hopefully you. we'll get to see you uh, playing later on uh, in the doubles, I believe. Doubles, I believe. Yeah, 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 a yeah. little bit more fun. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> it. Well, different things. Well, yeah, I think we should wrap it up. <laughs> yeah, we'll be cheering you on from the box, but thanks for your time and good thanks. luck later on. Thanks to you, guys. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers.